they're smoking, they're looking to go back in. GH has RP available. They really want to take a fight and look at them group up! Three heroes together and now the cleave of the PA can go to work! A triple kill, block the rolling boulder out, an ultra kill for Shadow! Get and in there. Team Liquid! Get in there! It really is GG, they're going for more kills. You want to buy back a rampage for Shadow? <laughs> look man, you watched, uh, what was it, the, the Here third? Here they go, smoke against smoke. Tide has the double ravage and they're looking for the target. It's over towards the beast mask, but he couldn't the move spear fast enough. This the blink actually couldn't go off. They will get the hex over on Dusa. Ravage number one. Ravage. Wait for Ravage number two. There it goes. They bounce him around, combining with the chain front. Dusa is down and the support of Liquid. They couldn't get involved, but at least Bristle back. He stayed alive through all of this. So much life and GH. He's got 500 and fucking 20 damage extra. He's going to try and rip through them. He just obliterated the Visage. Everyone was there. Tide is on the run. The Shadow Grave will keep him alive a little bit longer. Let that Anchor Smash ring once again. They've got buyback available for Tide and Visage. And man, the only thing to apologize for in that fight was my swearing. <laughs> wow, and here, okay. She smoked mid now. They just saw the spells casted. The Dagon as well on the illusion. Oh, they're TPing back for GH. Want to find him? Oh, got him. Yules didn't even need to use the coil. And with that, GH going to try and get away. They know he's over here. Another roll. Oh. He's still getting out of there. There's a Lucent Beam, the Dagon, the chase forward. He's got a BKB himself, though. Oh my god, he's got to make it work for him. Get out of here. The roll, he keeps rolling. Four seconds, eat your heart out. Oh he my god. He silences him in <laughs> He's alive. He's gone. He used all of his stones, but he traversed the distance. Oh, run away, GH. He's chasing. And he wants it so oh bad. He got him in the end. He actually didn't get out. Oh my god. How many people does King Art to get in the chrono? Oh. Or in the uh, RP? Defusal, slow down onto Ori, BKB pop, jump in, trying to find it, the Sinister Gaze holds onto that Centaur for the moment, they're able to get the shot off as well, and he is going to go down, buys back immediately, he needs to get back into this fight, they have all the damage mitigation in the world right now, RP stolen by Faith, able to catch on to two of them, they're being pulled apart, triple kill for Paparazzi, and with the Yule Scepter lift up, this Razor's going down, hit that man an Ultra, take him down, they seal away the Rampage, now Paparazzi actually turn upon, the Omnisage comes out, this is going to be enough, he takes down one, he might be able to take down a second, Get back over there! <laughs> they look like they are going to be able to escape. I feel like I'm being dishonest by being excited. Tide's in trouble. Support's coming over from the from the timber store. Tide Hunter, there goes your Ravage. He'll catch out in five. Everybody just, just straight through him with maybe. They've already got the kill on the Oracle. FY in the back lines as well as looking at killing off the Oracle, taking away his save. The Magnetize is at least doing something good for the Earth Spirit. He'll probably have more damage than his entire team combined. Another finger of death kill, combining with the Omni Slash. GG is called, and rightly so. This game is so over. They uh, they did everything right. You know, it starts with the nullification of the Earth Spirit. So you LGD is... underneath their own shrine, not where VG Gaming want to fight, but they have the Observer Ward. Oh, okay, no, they don't. X Nova sees it. He'll get rid of it, but then he's inside. Can he have Chain Frost? No, he doesn't. The Frost Shield tries to negate some of this damage, pulling the OD in. The Stomp is good. Stop Pup from getting the instant silence as well as Dream Coil off, and they're all back inside the Stomp. Oh, and the AT Splitter! There you go, VG! LGD lose all five heroes. They were totally silent. They feel pretty confident taking the fights. To them. Probably just also because they have a wall replica. It's amazing. Based on that. Trying to catch them out. This is a bold move. MP. Oh, oh my god. god. Damn. And now the vacuum wall with the stuns coming down. The Ravage though to try and interrupt. And Abed walks in the middle of all of them. The stone gaze is working and might actually be able to make this fully go in with the roll in now. A little bit off the mark coming from Tang and yeah, Ice 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 down very low. The Chain Frost bouncing back and forth. They've already lost two. A buyback comes from the Lich, but unfortunately that is going to be also the Weaver going down. Finding the kickback onto the Medusa to keep Abed closer and closer. They do use that Sinister Gaze to pull ASD closer, but he is just going to be able to tear them apart. Ultra kill for ASD, and this man who has done everything gets his Rampage stolen. There you go, but he eventually picks it up. And then he dies to the <laughs> what an ending for ASD there. I hey, want to come up. Where's that observer? Uh -oh. Up on the hill, sentries being placed, puppy. 
It's a D ward for a D ward. Nisha jumps in, even gets the, da the damage over on the Conker. Maybe not the ground, where his mass servant was. He wants to bounce out. The Phantom Strike will do it. Now the Ravage will kick in, but the BKB protected the Conker, but they need to get through the Dusa. That's the bigger one. And Medusa Dead. does go down. It's a support trade off. Sniper finally being chased down as well in the back lines, but Nisha is the primary man. You get to watch him try and find all of these kills working with Zai. The negative armor, they crit through, but they need the bigger kills. A support. A, a kill on Kunker is the bigger one to claim. Faith Beyond wants to try and help out. They've got the disarm. Sven comes in with a Warcraft thanks to the buyback. They get the sun over on Tanisha. He needs a little bit more distance. A jump up. He goes <laughs> for the <laughs> over the Oracle. Displayed himself for half a second. Back to the Master Serpent Wars. Fight undercover. The stun will be there. Onto the Phantom Assassin. Zai wants to help by being standing a little His bit further away. The ultra killing so hard. Now he jumps back down again. Over towards the Beastmaster. Continue the stuns all you want, but Satanic is just great, so is the Raw, but PA, the War Stomp, wait really? The Creep is delaying this fight, and now Nisha goes on a rampage! It's unbelievable! The Phantom Assassin! Assassins are meant to be stealthy, he's in your face, he's the real Roar of this game, BKB to dodge the Storm Bomb, a double rampage, Nisha do it solo, give me a triple rampage, you're gonna get it, a stun, it's only delaying the inevitable, it's a triple rampage for Nisha, unbelievable! Unbelievable. This game is secret. GG, well played. You cannot repel firepower of Nisha's magnitude. Really? Yeah, just because it's more single target lockdown, if you just CC Ahmed... But now they go on him, maybe he doesn't... Oh, the toss out! They toss him in, the Dragon Knight, and with the rapier, the damage is so high, the DK is down 100 seconds, he can buy back into this fight. The Tiny, he's been brought down by the Magnetized for the Gyrocopter. This is the fight they wanted under vision with the Gyrocopter. They Tended up the by FY, but where is his damage? The Ice Mask Control is... It's so good, the, the Gyrocopter, they actually disarm him, so we can't attack back over, and now the Omni Slash, a triple kill, the second Rapier down, and that should be the game, an ultra kill in for Ramses, they can finish the job with X Nova in the trees, but FY calls, good game, well played, Virtus Pro. I mean, it was a nice thought, they don't still stampede <laughs> at least, but... He is dead for quite a while now, and Ryle looks like he wants to try to do something here. This is very bold, chase forward. Now, this on for the moment, Fear jumps in the Omni Slash, damn it, he killed them all! Move the resolution, can he do it? It's him against the world right now, and he's doing a pretty good show of it as he burns through that Aegis. They buy back on the Pugna, trying to force move back. They could maybe kill off that Healing Worth the Illusion. They're gonna Astral for himself, and how to move forward. The Ink Swall there as well, they're trying to burn through him. Can they kill him off? Time for the Life Drain! You are able to save his buddy's life, and there's gonna be the Sunder. The walk forward, trying to find that kill, stealing the Healing Worth, and give that over to his team as MSS jumps forward. Tries to kill Bryle, isn't quite gonna happen. He gets a spin, but there's gonna be Moon trying to find the kill. The Can they bring him down? The butterfly misses, but the jump forward and you are will claim his prize. Ooh. Wait for the meta to wait, wear off, and then we can go straight into the high ground because all our lanes are just constantly pushing in anyway. Tames is actually just looking for a toss back oh already. My God. That is a little crazy, but then again, he's also a tiny. He's so tanky and he has that ethereal blade. Meanwhile, the, the jump forward able to find the roar. Blow up Silar. He's gone. Buyback comes immediately. Where's the rest of the answer there? The wall is already dropped, but the secondary wall was dropped by the Rubik afterwards, and Gabby just lays into Boba Gun, able to take him down. A secondary vacuum coming from Gabby because he's also the Dark Seer. Now the chase for the triple kill. He wants blood. He wants everything. Old triple kill for Gabby. Give that man a rampage and maybe another one. GG called. TNC do it. Oh, 31 minutes and buybacks are coming galore. The Lich pop back as well. He wants to get into this fray. How do you even take this fight at this point to have the Ink Swell? But the turnaround came immediately from that Doom. It's a long duration stun, but there is no follow-up. And the three-person RP Whoa. able to catch on to all of them with the skewer follow-up. This one is over. My goodness gracious me, oh my, VP. It's just the beginning of something here. I mean, they're into the pit, and Secret realizing that they pick up a got it. It's stolen away by mid one. The reaction came out so quickly, and now the Avalanche toss mid one, stealing away that DD. Can he blow him up in time? They don't have that much cover for this Medusa. No one is being focused, but they almost bring down him, and there's the vacuum pulling it back into everybody. They need to buy back My immediately bad. from Slark to try and get into this fight. Puppy chasing, they have the avalanche, they have the taunts, and a triple kill coming from Yapsor. Roach is open. Find these supports in the back lines probably is the be biggest thing for them now. Just get that Earth Spirit on top of either the Elder Titan or on top of that Wyvern for them to get the initiation. While another sign, Fnatic, they need to try to do this. Just get an instant catch, oh. try to call somebody back, or... GH, that's kind of an initiation for him though. The Cold Snap is there, the Silence now onto two, and Liquid trying to 
chase forward for this one. They roll in a second time, reapplying the magnetize, seeing if they can chase forward. Matumba Man, boundless strike only onto one MP. And he's gonna throw out that Omni Slash onto GH. Might be able to find the kill solo. And the big Winter's cards draining all the mana. The, the, combo. Card, the combo is beautiful. The egg is down though. Can that turn it back around in time? Are they gonna be able to bring down the egg? They do kill it off. MP with the double. And now Matumba Man isolated away from the rest of his teams. Can they take down the tree? Ice 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 looking for the catch, but he guesses wrong. And Matumba Man gets out. Hold on to buybacks for that rush. It's so important. Oh, this they just it's really important. Kuro, the Sunray, they have the splitter on the two. It's not gonna be enough damage. And now trying to get the supernova down. They don't have any heroes on top of this one at all. Going into the middle of all of them. Could they kill off the Aegis? He's able to steal it away! MP in the midst of the Omni steals the Aegis, but now he needs to get out as well. Shadow wanting to chase these heroes down. The boundless strike interrupting the combo coming from Abed. And now the magnetize. It's on to three of them beautifully. They're all disarmed by that deafening blast, but can they kill off Kuro in time? Kuro walks. Walking forward, but the chase comes from MP and they kill him off. Chaos in the river. Matumba Man died in the back lines too. Ice 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 found him. Shadow's out of mana. They're looking to keep this chase on. Oh, they're just the gonna throw the curse. curses back up and they're on top of this Morphling. Well plays all around. The vacuum to try and get Shadow out of there. He's doing everything that he possibly can. The Avalanche is able to jump away. The Sun Strike, it's not gonna be there. He surged away. Oh my god. And Shadow somehow, someway gets away from the mess. MP, what a boss. And not only an Arcane Moon bottom, but oh, look. Look at the beautiful, lovely DD that blessed EG in the first game. <laughs> RTZ will get another one. The immediate smoke. They're looking. They know Meta's still on cooldown. Oh, and the roll-in coming. Chalice, he's all alone. Force staff. Get this man out of here. He needs to escape. The interrupt is going to be there, at least for the moment. The boat is out as well. Getting that. Exomo's Rom. The turn. It's almost there. Oh, Juggernaut. He's on nothing. Can they kill him off in time? They're chasing forward now. Arteezy just trying to run. The healing ward is still alive here. And now Kunkka has possibly gone a bit too far as well. Stop! He's on the connects on the boat. And Arteezy says it yet again. Finding that kill. Trying to BKB and just walk out. Ame in trouble. And they have have FY to try and throw out shards to interrupt. It's pretty good, but they lose another on their way out. As the Kunkka's dead, the Lion's dead. Gaze, S4, he's got Ravage if they want to move forward into this one. The boat to try and follow it. They have the break, and now the toss back onto the Tide Hunter with the Omni Slash. He's silent. He can't crack it. Show it off. He wasn't able to do anything. He has buyback if they want to continue with this fight. So the Snowball putting him into position. Crit very low on HP, and it looks like EG is going to have to back out. They also lose oh the God. Lich. Artizi's on the high ground. He's stuck up on the high ground of the Avalanche. The toss. They got him caught. Artizi, where are you going to go? Clipped up in trouble. But S4 buys back. He wants to deal his damage, but he can't do anything. They're too far away from him. That Terrorblade is stuck up there. And Sumail left all alone to his own devices. They can't do anything at all. Where's your damage? It's up too high. They want to pull the fight back over to this side of the engagement, but it's not happening. He's still up there. Evil Genius is going to lose their carry in the most tragic of ways. His S4 just wants a little help, but it's not coming. Oh, no, 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 no. The Torrent. The Ava, the Toss, and the Destruction. Assemble in the mid lane. Tier 2 tower will drop. They're trying to get the split push up as quick as they possibly can. Hex is out the trap on no one. He'll have buyback available. Tombstone is committed up on the high ground. The puppy, he is the scout. He Look is the front liner. Pugged up, must buy back. No other choice. TP's finally coming back from the PL. He needs to land into the back lines. Some kind of copies. He used the doppelganger to try and get rid of the tombstone. It's taking time. It may time out before they can actually kill the damn thing. Tombstone finally gone, but the tier three tower, six HP, rolling baller forward. Look for the kick in the silence. OD's in trouble, can't get the BKB up in time, OD will drop, the Hex is in control, it's not allowing PL to get to the back line, look for anything, there's no Ravage, there's no big ultimate from Team Secret, did they force this all too soon, OD's trying to return, but he may not have a team to return to, it's just Ramsey, 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 going for the third, over the wall, puppy, even if you have Ravage, you'll pop it now, so OD can come back to the fight, he has Eclipse available, they're all dropping pretty low, the Eclipse falls down, Lion will go down to the burst, perfectly micro puppy, finally dies, he really is the undying in this fight, but they're not done yet, keep the Fight going. BKB from mid one. It won't last long enough. They take it and oh. pull him down. Down for the count. 73 seconds of the sideline. And they just keep going, going, going. Team Secret. They lose the whole kit and caboodle. Imprisonment used on mid. Puppy's moving over. He's got the nightmare. And the Fiend's Grip used on Grimstroke. But they all got Soulbind together. And the double zoom. And the double Soulbind. That's the combination the VP's been itching for. And the Omni Slash. I am trying to really get him out of the way. They take three heroes. Not as pro. You feel like
like maybe they're the ones being initiated on, but you feel a disturbance. Gotta that is see. not right. I, I feel like someone's going to be able to interrupt that. He's coming back. They're looking for the kill, but the hex on Grimstroke. They have the damage to kill off Io, and under the exorcism, maybe they got the DPS, but Puck back in again on the fight. They're taking so much damage thanks to the Rift as well as the follow-up. Death Prophet, she needs a little bit more space running away, but that crit from Nisha is coming into play. Doombringer's on the run with almost no armor, but it's up towards the top. That's where mid one finds a double kill. Virtus Pro is just happening again. Wiped. The whole team is dead and Team Secret.